this video got a little long, so here's a link to skip ahead to where we're working with the project box and a link to skip ahead to where we're doing the wiring. But now, let's start making that diagram. Before I begin putting actual wires into the temperature controller, I'm going to create a wiring diagram so I know what's going on. So the first wire that I want to connect up is going to be the hot wire. That's going to come from power supply to the main switch. From the main switch, it needs to go into cooling, heating, and the power supply for the Lurway STC-1000 controller. Let's connect the neutral wire next from the power supply. That's going to go down into the outlets and then up into the power input for the Lurway controller. The ground wire is a very important wire to have in there, so let's go stick that in now. The main power supply down to the outlets. That'll connect to both grounds and the outlets, or one ground pole if you're using a double outlet. Finally, we got to have the heating and cooling wires going down to the outlets. So the heating one will power that outlet and cooling will power that when the temperature controller calls for it. So, last thing to do here is to make sure that where our wires cross, we change that so they're shown as not intersecting. And we do that by putting a little arc here. So now that we have that all done, let's go ahead and grab our project box and our components and let's get this build going. The components for the cooling box are going to sit like this. We have the temperature controller up top and the two heating and cooling plugs down at the bottom. So to do this, you take those off and inscribe where this needs to be on here. So I measured this out, centering it about an inch in from either side. And then I came down three quarter inches from the top, all the way around, using a pencil. Subscribed around the corners multiple times to get my pattern in there. I'm going around the edges. I don't know if you guys can see the pattern in there. And then these boxes need a smaller size hole. So they are one inch square. They want about a seven eighths inch hole. And this needs to be about seven eighths as well. Okay. It's a little hard to see. I don't know if you can make that out at all, where the pattern is in there. So it's going to sit this way, actually. Be cut. Okay, now that we have the shapes in there, using a rotary tool, we cut them out. I put a, a hole in each corner, and then it's just a question of connecting from one hole to the other. So I'm fast forwarding through this part right to the end so that you don't have to sit here and watch me do this because it takes quite a while to cut these out because you're going nice and slow. So after cutting, we're going to kind of dry fit to see if you get the holes right. Dry fitting these involves a lot of filing 
and trying and filing and trying. When you file, you want to vacuum up all the dust there because you don't want that to get any of your components. And then you try it again, file some more, and so on until you get it done. There we go. And there we have it. Now we have to do the wiring according to the wiring diagram. And we should be all set. Okay, now that we have the on-off switch in here, the power in here, we've got to connect them up. So we take the hot from the power and connect it to the on-off switch. Too small. Okay. And that can be tucked in underneath here. So your ground wire, let's connect the ground wire next. Likewise, we'll put a cap on that. Ground wire, I've got these terminals on, which will connect to the grounds on there. So that grounds our outlets. The next step is going to be wire up the power wires. So we have three wires here that are going to come out to the controller. I'm going to put those right here with our one from the power switch. So these are all going to go together like that. Twist them nice. Put a good size cap on them because there are four wires there. There we go. Yeah, one of these goes to the input on your controller right here, power. Undo the screw a little bit, slide it in, and screw it back down. Make sure it's nice and tight. One of these comes to the heating element. Same thing, loosen 
insert Titan. And the final one of these goes to the cooling element. Loosen, insert, tighten. There we go. So now when the power switch is on, power will flow through those into the controller. So now we need our lives. So from the controller, we take the heating element, insert one end into the heating element end, oh, loosen a little more. Tighten. So loosen up the cooling. Insert, tighten, so these get connected down to our wiring down here. Now they have heating cooling and I want heating cooling on mine so I'm going to have it be the other way around. Put heating on this side, I'm going to crimp those together and make sure it stays. Heating. Cooling. Okay, so heating wire, cooling wire. Last thing we need to do, clean up a little bit more in there, connect our negative wire, or neutral wire I should say, so let's loosen, insert, tighten that up again. These come down onto here, the W side, the white side. Let's make it a little tighter here. Why is it looser? And these are all going to get connected together. They came apart, so they're too loose. So let's do this connection first. Okay, one, and two, when you put these on, you gotta make sure you actually get it in the right spot. Two, okay, so, you can see this now. So the neutral, neutral wire from the main power plug comes up goes into the power for the STC-1000 and the two plugs. The hot or live from the main power supply comes up, goes into the main power, heating, cooling, and these are switched, and then heating and cooling go down to heating and cooling. 
Final thing to do, very important, one must remember to hook up the temperature probe. So let's get that connected here. Loosen, loosen those, slide the temperature probe connector in. Right now, see the solid cool light is on. That tells us that the cooling, which is this one, should be active. So let's plug in a light and see. And it is. The heat, this one, should not be on. And it isn't. So if I can figure out how to set this thing. All right, F1. Set. There we go. We'll set it at 24 now. Okay, so now it's calling for heat, which means cold should be off and heat should be on. And it is.